Hey everybody, Snake Doc here. It is Saturday afternoon and uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys. I just got back from the range. I just put a ton of rounds through this. Did some drills with it and just did some regular uh, rapid fire shooting and some slow target shooting. Ended up having to adjust the rear sight because it was shooting low. Um, so I adjusted it to bring it up to point of aim and it ended up working out just fine that way. Uh, you can see here I did receive my 13 pound rebound spring for a Smith & Wesson revolver that I can put in here to reduce the trigger pull and I think I might do that because what I noticed today is uh, this, this little bit of creep right there, right there is gritty and annoying and I don't know if that's the firing pin block or if that is it's something moving though so I'll have to figure it out and find out exactly what that is but that's it was irritating on uh, trying to do accuracy shooting um, but otherwise for regular shooting this gun shot great no malfunctions fantastic I put at least 200 rounds through it today I don't know exactly I didn't count um, so yeah I really enjoy it it's reliable and very comfortable to shoot. It's easy to keep the sights on target, and I definitely love the black and orange. I also brought with me my Beretta APX, which has a three white dot, and I just don't like three white dot sight pictures, so I'm going to have to do something about the APX because that shot really nice too. Anyhow, the main reason that I'm making this video is because the president, Donald Trump, flew into Freeland, Michigan on Thursday evening. And the airport is the MBS International Airport. And I live in the Tri-City area of Midland, Saginaw, Bay City. And I only live a few miles from the airport. So I went there. And I went and saw Air Force One land, which was incredible. That's a heck of a jet. Absolutely stunning how big that thing is. And, uh, yeah, so I got to watch the president speak. And, uh... I got to watch some hilarious demonstration by some anti-Trump people and I have footage of that and that I'm going to put in this video and uh, I want you guys to comment on it. But I just, I just think it's unbelievable. The thing that stood out as the most unbelievable to me, and I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong then please tell me, but whenever you see the liberals protest, they protest in the most vile, uh, just vulgar way. Um, you'll see in the video what I mean by that. Um, and whenever you see, like, whenever there was a, a rally or anything for a Democratic nominee, I never saw any conservatives. I've never seen footage of conservatives there acting the way that the extreme left or liberal mindset acts. And it's just bizarre why they get a pass for that because, I mean, it's almost subhuman culture. Uh, so, yeah, you're going to have, I'm going to put in some footage here from the other night. It was amazing. He land, he was supposed to land at seven on the nose. It was just a couple minutes later than that. There was over 10,000 people there at the airport. It was, honestly, it was the most positive energy I've ever felt in one venue in my entire life. Everybody was just jazzed up. There was probably 50% of the crowd wearing masks, 50% that wasn't. It was outdoors, so I don't care. I've been golfing in golf leagues this entire, since May 1st, and we don't wear masks, and I've been outdoors doing lots of things around people, and we don't wear masks, so I don't, I don't know why the left wants to freak out about that, just because nobody attends their rallies. Um, uh, the other thing, so his speeches were great. He has, he's so funny. Um, one of the videos, sorry, the, the beginning that he says is this doesn't look like the crowd of somebody who comes in second place. So you'll see that one. That's what he said to lead into that. I kind of messed up on that one, but there's going to be a few snippets of him talking, him coming off of Air Force One. And then um, I have that video of uh, the demonstration that was outside the gates of the airport. I had to walk like about a little over a mile to get to the airport. And I'm glad I did that because I think the people that parked inside the airport fence were there till at least 1, 2 in the morning trying to leave. I mean, it would have been crazy crowds. It was nuts. 
Um, John James was there. I'm a big fan of John James. I got a um, yard sign of him in my front lawn. And uh, Trump called him out and gave him the full endorsement and everything. That was pretty cool. And uh, a couple of my coworkers went that actually got inside the hangar part where he was. I was on the opposite side watching him on a jumbotron because I didn't, those people that got there were there like spending the night and stuff. And uh, anyhow, so they got on to that side somehow and they got their pictures taken with his press secretary, who's that new blonde, uh, beautiful woman. Um, so anyhow, I want you guys to uh, watch this and know that Snake Doc is definitely going to be voting for Trump. I think you should too. Um, I think the uh, the left is insane, and uh, it's not the way that we should be wanting to raise our children in this country. Um, so if you if you care about the upbringing of the future youth, um, please vote for Donald Trump. So that's my message. And uh, I'm going to try and piece this video together on the computer and hopefully I make this all work out. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Always shoot safe.
Michigan because they heard they had problems. They were supposed to win Michigan, but they did such a lousy job that they had to come and get some votes, and they came, and I heard about it. They said, sir, could you do it? And I hopped in the plane. We landed at 12 o'clock in the evening. I started speaking at 1 o'clock in the morning, now election day. 32,000 people. She had 500 people. I said, I 